How to become a millionaire step by step. To making as much money as humanly possible. So in this video, I wanted to tell you guys exactly step by step how I became a millionaire at 23 years old. If you're a guy in your 20s and you don't have a Lamborghini, you should actually sit down and have like a serious discussion with yourself as to why you don't have a Lambo. So you want to get rich? Well, I'm here to save you time and show you the truth. Enjoy. What's up you guys, it's Graham here. There's been a lot of demand for advice geared towards teenagers in terms of what they could be doing right now to build their wealth and what they should be doing to set themselves up on a trajectory to making as much money as humanly possible. And the best part about all of this is that it does not cost you a single dollar besides just a quick tap of the like button. Here's the reality. If you wanna make a lot of money and build your wealth, you're gonna to have to learn how to communicate and interact with other people. And without that, I would not be here uh, making videos in my garage, asking people to deposit $100 on Weeble so they could get two free stocks. One of those is valued up to $1,000, link in description. And secondly, if you wanna build your wealth as a teenager, then there's really no other way around it. You gotta start making money. After all, you can't be super rich driving around Lambos one day without having any money. You're first going to need to figure out how you're going to do it and which direction you're going to take. Now I get it, it's extremely easy to get overwhelmed. Like, do you work part-time and trade stocks? Do you try affiliate marketing? Do you try e-commerce? Do you try real estate? Or do you just smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm? Now it's so important that you actually get some experience doing it. Don't wait, just get started. There's no better learning experience than literally just going for it. And for me, what's really helped is only focusing on the next step and then nothing else. I just thought to myself, what camera do I need? Okay, I'll figure that out. Done. What mic do I need? Okay, I'll figure that out. Done. How do I edit a video? Okay, I'll figure that out. Done. And from my experience, usually the best education you can get is working for someone else entirely for free and just observing what they do. After all, you can't be super rich driving around Lambos one day without having any money. Fifth, when it comes to this, I recommend that you try as many things as you possibly can to figure out what you like and what you don't like. Like maybe you really wanna be a real estate agent but then you quickly figure out like wait a second I don't like working Sundays and that's a deal breaker for me so you check that off the list chances are you're a teenager and you don't have a busy career and uh, a family and wife and kids to take care of May maybe Probably not. Like most likely you could afford to lose absolutely everything and it's not really that much because probably you don't have a lot to begin with. Now, if you're under the age of 18, see if your parents will co-sign for you for a low limit credit card. Oh, and also smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, if you're not already subscribed, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify you when I post a video. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I post a video daily, so if you want to be a part of the fair, feel free to add me there. And also, feel free to add me on my second channel. That is known as the Grand Stepping Show. I post there every single day. I'm not posting here. So if you want to see a brand new video from me every single day, feel free to add yourself to that. And lastly, if you guys want two free stocks, Weebo is holding a promotion where if you deposit $100 on their platform, they will give you two free stocks with one of the stocks being valued up to one thousand. I would just be paralyzed with information, especially when everyone is only promoting their own self-interest because that's what they're good at. A quick tap of the like button. Smash the like button. Oh, and also smashing the like button. How to become a millionaire step by step. Now you may not realize this, but one of the most toxic concepts and one of the most toxic ideas that you've been exposed to is this that somehow you make money quickly it is a, a bad idea when people say oh is this get rich quick you better hope that it is wealth is measured more in time than in just money the question is are you rich no it took you 40 years to accumulate a million dollars let's say you still make a million dollars but instead of taking you 40 years, you make that same million dollars within 12 months, within one year. Now, are you rich? Yes. Guess what? Now you have more time to enjoy it. Now, what if you make a million dollars a month? Let's think bigger. It's 12 times richer than the person who makes a million dollars a year. That's the difference. Poor people, they value money more than they value time. An oil change, or I gotta go do something, or fix the car, I'm not gonna do it. I got rich when I started valuing my time. Are you rich? No. When you graduate, you wanna get great jobs. You don't wanna get bad jobs, what they call bad jobs. And we don't want the bad jobs. For instance, some businesses aren't good business. I won't name them, but they're tough businesses. They don't make it all the most money. They're teachers, 
Their scientists, because I won't name them, ideally love what you do in a good business, but you know what? If, you, if it's not necessarily that good, the loving is more important than having that good business. You gotta love what you do. You gotta never, ever quit or give up. Never quit. You're gonna be so close. And he did another one. It was four up. And he did five up. And he did six up, and they would all fail. And he just kept failing, 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 and finally he gave up. And my father would say, if he only came up, if he just worked a little bit harder, just one more, he would have had seven up. I viewed it as not as comedy. I viewed it as never, ever give up. You know, just never give up. Vacation, if you want vacations, you're not really in the right business. What you want to do is you want to keep going, keep going, keep going. But if you think you lost your momentum, slow down and refocus on maybe something else. Never quit, you know, just never give up. There's a certain amount of luck. So I have a friend who's just an unlucky guy. He's smart. He went to the Wharton School of Finance. I said, what happened? I broke my shoulder. How do you break your shoulder? Are you a football player? So he had a broken shoulder, and now he's coming home, and an 18-wheeler hits the signs that say, to New York City, 10 miles, right? It, he didn't even get hit by the truck. He got hit by a sign. <laughs> and he never really succeeded. Okay, here's what you do. Tell yourself you're not injury prone. Sit down, okay? <laughs> Look at the size of that guy. How can he be injury prone? You know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. So in this video, I wanted to tell you guys exactly step by step how I became a millionaire at 23 years old. While I was in community college, I stumbled across my cousin JT and he gave me a book. He said a successful black man gave him this book and said, if you read this, your life will change forever. So I ended up reading Rich Dad Poor Dad the whole book all the way through. That was the first book that I read all the way through. And also to mention, during that time, I had a library pass. So I was at the library literally reading all these books. So I was spending hours and hours every single day at the library reading so many books. I read 25 books, and some of those books led me to discover my first business, which was e-commerce, selling things on eBay. So I was buying wholesale items from AliExpress and Alibaba in bulk, and we selling them on eBay for triple and quadruple the price. I should get into drop shipping, and he basically said, it's selling a product without you having to touch your product. And after a month of countless hours learning everything and getting everything situated I finally launched a product which was men's watches in the first couple months I lost money so I was super super frustrated and at that point I was about to give up and Thomas Edison had failed over 10,000 times trying to invent a light bulb but Thomas Edison's perspective was that I did not fail 10,000 times I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work and that changed my perspectives so I paid this Instagram account $80 and it generated $1,400 in sales in one day the first day of Facebook ad testing I would do $100 a day and then for influencers I would pay ten thousand dollars at first so needless enough to say I lost a lot of money doing that but needless to say I had a whole bunch of different setbacks and I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars because of it so in 2020 I invested a lot of the money that I had saved up for my drop shipping and e-commerce businesses into the stock market and continue to trade and invest consistently and I made a lot of money from that and continue to make money from that which I'm extremely grateful for invest so for those of you that do not know the thing with drop shipping and every other e-commerce business is that you have your revenue which is your sales then you have your expenses which are your cost of goods which is the cost of your e-commerce product or drop shipping product you have your advertising costs which can be your facebook instagram ads google ads instagram influencers basically whatever form of advertising that you pay for then you have your refunds, your chargebacks, your merchant fees, and your taxes, and all that good stuff. So once you deduct that from your sales, that's what you're left with for profit. Later on that year, in September 2020, I became a millionaire by my personal definition. And before I go, I wanna leave a quote to all you future full-time millionaires out there watching. Even if you're starting from the bottom, you don't have to be great to get started, but you do have to get started to be great. And until then, my friends, be great. I know the most successful people in the world, and many of these people are really miserable people, okay? No matter what, and perhaps I'm in that category, okay? But I'm pretty happy. I'm, at least I'm very content, I can tell you.